assistant professor and obstetrician gynecologist Dr. Shauna Mitchell Foster is marking Women's Day a little differently this year. She's using the day to raise awareness and shed light on an important topic. Indigenous women in northern BC need better access to reproductive care. A study published last year, uh, done by the First Nations Health Authority together with the BC Cancer Agency, uh, and it showed that there was a 92% higher incidence of cervical cancer uh, among Indigenous women in British Columbia. And uh, a big factor that they um, attributed this to was the lack of culturally safe screening options. Women get cervical cancer screening, which entails a pap smear, which requires a pelvic examination. However, the process is not that simple for all women. Some women have to travel to get care, and the pap smears to screen for cervical cancer are quite invasive, which in turn means that the patient can be embarrassed, anxious, and there might even be stigma surrounding the issue, which is even more magnified when talking about Indigenous women. Dr. Mitchell Foster says that intergenerational trauma and power balance struggles in the healthcare system have led to those concerns in the North. But additionally, we also have um, uh, factors about how our health system itself is, is set up that will act as a barrier. Uh, so um, if you have um, a, a family member, so for example, like an auntie or your mom or your grandma who uh, was um, sterilized without her consent at the hands of the as, of what you know is ultimately a colonial healthcare system. Uh, you're going to be much less likely to engage in um, an invasive type of screening that that you may not necessarily you may not necessarily have the trust in in the healthcare system. She is working on two pilot projects with Service Check Fraser and Service Check North, with a focus on Indigenous women. They are also partnered with Career Sikani Family Services and Métis Nation BC for user-friendly kits which will allow women to do a self-collected HPV test for cervical cancer. Uh, and to actually be able to uh, put control of screening in uh, women's hands, not only in that they're collecting the specimen themselves, uh, but also uh, in the way that they can decide where they do it, whether it's done at the clinic, whether they collect their swab at home, um, when they do it, uh, that's, that, that's pretty incredible. Dr. Mitchell Foster says that the BC healthcare system is getting a lot better at cultural safety, but there is still a long way to go. Dahlia Ashry, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek.